Hi everybody, Father Bill here. I am walking around Commonwealth Lake Park and behind me are some ducks right there. And I like the ducks, just wanna be sure of that. Though I'm wearing my beaver gear today, I'm on a walk and I was just thinking as I'm walking, uh, and of course celebrating a little bit of the weekend that we had the ability to uh, celebrate two wins in a row for the opening season of our, my Oregon State Beavers and football. Uh, but I'm thinking about as we start moving into fall, or I'm thinking about myself as I move in towards fall, I won't be able to necessarily be, or I may not want to be going out when it's raining and doing the walking. So I have a, a treadmill at the house, but it brings up a topic for me to think about, which is exercise and our health and our spiritual health as well. So, yeah. As we move into the winter season it's fall right now but as it starts to move into the winter season it gets cold and rainy and some of these things you know are not as easily done not as fun uh, some of you may be uh more uh, rambunctious about you know getting the ring gear on and doing that stuff and i'm sure i'll see lots of people running in front of the house i'll probably be on the treadmill but it's part of uh our spiritual walk that we take care of ourselves physically, spiritually, emotionally, all these different ways. And again, I will be the first to admit that I love to be a couch potato and snack on stuff I probably shouldn't snack on. Uh, and uh, well, at one point that that didn't pay off well for me. Uh, I think what was it a couple years ago? It was about 190 pounds. And I'm about 5'10". That's a little heavy. So I said I would work on doing something better than that and start curtailing how much I eat, start try, trying to exercise a little bit more. And uh, as I do so, that means, uh, of course, be mindful of how much um, I intake, what kind of food I do. So I started uh, changing some of my diet and more, even more so walking. I used to run uh, when I was younger, but my knees are pretty well shot from being a high school teacher and going up, up and downstairs quite a bit every single day with a backpack. So walking is the less than the impactful kind of situation for me. But that's just one of the different ways to um, take care of myself. Um, but of course, also prayer is important as well. What are we doing? What are you doing to keep yourself spiritually and physically in shape? Think about that. What are those things? This isn't about counting the cost, but it is something that we need to be mindful of and recognizing that it is part of our whole being to be people of a mind and body and a spirit. So that spiritual part, spiritual part is important. Coming to Mass is a critical part of that. Yep. But how about daily prayer? Daily prayer is an important part of our... Um, our well-being, our holistic well-being. I actually have a spot in the house that I have that points out into the backyard. I get to see some nature. And then I'll spend time in prayer. Prayer can be done through reading the scriptures. Uh, I do that when I prepare also for homilies in the morning masses. But for me, some of the most potent Prayer time has been silence. During my seminary time, which was seven years, there was, you know, discernment time. That's time thinking about deeply and praying and asking God, what is it that you want me to do with my life? Is it this thing called the priesthood? How, how will I pull it off with your grace? Am I meant to do that? So I decided that I would spend an hour of prayer every day after lunch now of course and after lunch right we're kind of in the mode for also napping and sleeping so i did a little of that too but but i'd ask god okay god this is your time i'd sit in a special chair and i'd say this is your time please speak to my heart in a way that is not necessarily in words but in your special way of grace and I did that, and I think that was probably the most um, profound 
the experience I had at seminary. And I guess we had all these other prayer times, group prayer times, other things. But that was, for me, the most profound. And I was convicted after that, uh, along with some other things I did to, to go full bore on this priesthood thing. And uh, yeah, that was in my last couple years when I had to make some pretty serious commitments to being celibate for my life, to be a person of prayer, um, and to dedicate myself to service to the church. It's now 22 years since then. I'm so joy-filled and I'm so spoiled being at Holy Trinity. Your love and your care and your concern and prayers for me are so much appreciated. Know that I do the same. I'm trying to uh, offer my time in prayer for you. There's a lot more coming up over here. You can kind of hear it, so I'm going to just stop here for a moment. And uh, with with that, you know, come to mass. When you come to mass, bring your prayers to mass. Whatever they are, your needs, your struggles. So there's the the jogger, but there's also the lawnmower. Maybe I'll head this way so we don't care get all the noise. What are you doing for prayer? What in your life, what are you doing to take care of yourself, both physically, emotionally, um, spiritually? And you may not be a runner, right? Lots of people are runners. That's pretty awesome. They can do that. Um, maybe lower impact, maybe walking. But that's what our life is. It's a pilgrimage, right? We walk with each other when we can't do it ourselves. We try to help each other out. Who's helping you out? Do you have a friend that you can be with and walk with? I gotta walk this way. This guy's gonna make it worse. I think I'm gonna cut this actually. I'll come right back. Okay, I apologize. I was getting distracted by that lawnmower. Uh, one of the things we need to be doing, of course, is praying. And praying with somebody that would be really wonderful, a partner in prayer, maybe your spouse, that would be ideal, that'd be wonderful. But we don't always have that, so uh, we know we have a partner in the saints. We have a partner, of course, in our Lord. He will listen to our prayers, we know that. So what kind of prayer do you like? What's your particular preference in prayer? As I shared, mine is silence. And just listening. So our life is a pilgrimage. It's like a walk of life to heaven. And we have to be mindful of our physical, spiritual, mental, emotional, all of that together. So think about those things. What is it you're doing? And you might want to consider planning for this coming winter. How are you going to take care of yourself? And... Um, See what God's going to do. God has amazing plans for each of us. And if we're listening, he has much more to say than, than I know I do to him. And he has more to say to you than you to him as well. If we listen to him, things will be different. So keep walking. Keep listening. And take care of yourself. Bye-bye.